Hello everyone and welcome back. I need a high power dummy load to test some audio amplifiers that I've worked on. I want it to be as simple as possible and most importantly low cost. First I bought 8 of these 100 watt 8 ohm resistors that I found on AliExpress. I also ordered two heat sinks from Amazon. Links to everything including the tools that I've used will be listed in the description below. First order of business was measuring the resistors and its bolt holes. I then laid them out on the heat sink and marked where the holes are supposed to be. Then I used an optical center punch to exactly mark where it has to be drilled. I'm making sure the holes match the center punch marks. I then follow through with an automatic center punch to leave a deeper impression for the drill bit. I got a tap and drill set from Amazon which includes a number 43 drill bit and a 440 NC tap. I drilled out the holes to mount the resistors using a bit of tap magic cutting fluid which I will eventually show later. After drilling the holes, I used a deburring chamfer tool prior to tapping. I gotta clean up this mess. You don't want to catch one of these aluminum chips under your skin. Here is the 440 NC tap. I'm going to use an AliExpress ratcheting tap wrench without the handle because this tap is extremely small. Sorry but here's the tap magic cutting fluid I've been using for any drilling or tapping operation. Since it's only a small tap, you don't need much force, and you don't want to break the tap in the hole. For those who have a hard time drilling and tapping a perpendicular hole, get these big gator drill and tap guides. They're awesome. Nothing was sponsored in this video, I bought everything with my own money. After all of the drilling and tapping is done, I clean off the heatsink with IPA and begin mounting the resistor. I'm going to use this thermal grease that I have from previously repairing LED PAR cans. The purpose of this grease is to easily transfer the heat from the resistor to the heatsink. This stuff is a mess. It's hard to clean off. Make sure you have gloves and keep towels nearby. Mounting the resistors onto the heatsink with 440 NC screws that I got from Home Depot. Link is below. Here it is, one of the dummy loads completely assembled. Now I'm going to make the second one off camera. So now I have a pair of them, one for the left channel and one for the right channel so I could run both channels of the amp simultaneously. Now for the wiring. I'm going to wire these two dummy loads both in a series parallel configuration. This will maintain each dummy load at 8 ohms and 400 watts. If you want more info about the wiring configuration, then google up series parallel speaker wiring. I'm using leftover 16 gauge speaker wire for now. I'll replace it with 12 gauge cable and banana plugs in the future. I'm 
thinking about making another set of them so I can test amps at 4 ohms up to 800 watts. I can easily clip on oscilloscope probes the way it is right now. Here is a multimeter test of each dummy lug. As you can see, the 16 gauge wire adds a bit of resistance. When probed directly at the terminals, it's close to 8 ohms. I plan to use these dummy loads for a tutorial video on how to set limiter settings on an amplifier with built-in DSP processing. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos.